Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Nancy, how are ya? Good to see you. Right, just getting set up here so we can post on Facebook. Um, how's everybody going today? Yes, you're going great. Me too. We got another cool topic today. I think I learned more than you guys in these shows. It's awesome. Um, all right. Okay, who else we got on here today? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Eric. How's it going? Um, good to see you guys. So we've just got a few minutes before we are going to start up here. Um, cool. I think we are in business. Share it out onto our other page as well. Okay, cool. We are set up. So that is awesome. Um, cool. Hopefully my Wi-Fi uh, works today. Uh, but I see people jumping on. So that is cool. Uh, just waiting for Dr. Bart here. And then we are going to talk about your natural medicine cabinet, which is going to be cool. Dr. Bart in the house now. How are you? Excellent. Thanks. Good to see you, Karen. Good to see you. Um, cool. So, so uh, it's going to be a good one today. Should we just dive in? Yeah, let's dive in as soon as you're ready. And as soon as you, um, as soon as we get it live on Facebook, did you get that part done? Yeah, we are live. Awesome. And awesome. again, welcome everyone. If you're on Facebook, welcome. Nice to have you, you guys can ask questions. If you are on Facebook, and of course, you've, if you've joined us here on Zoom, you can do the same thing, ask us questions here. So tonight, this is almost like a, a how-to show. Um, probably should have done this like earlier in the year, like before like cold and flu season start, but well, whatever. So Because this, this, these are the remedies that three things, Karen, this is for all listeners tonight. Again, if you guys have questions, I want you to ask about anything that like shows up as like a family sickness, you know, cold, flus and all that kind of stuff, because we're going to have remedies for them tonight. I'm going to show you some um, what you should have on your home medicine cabinet. But there's really three things that have to happen. One, you have to have them. Otherwise, you can't use them. And Karen, I was joking with you earlier that one of one of the things that happens, and, and I'm all right with it, I get text messages, Facebook messages, messenger, you know, all kinds of ways that people can reach out to me and they'll say, hey, doc, I got such and such going on. What do I do about it? And almost always I refer to one or multiple of the five or six different things I'm going to share with us tonight, different herbals, uh, remedies, different uh, supplements that we can use. So in order to help these different things that we have, you know, to help us be our own doctors at home, we have to have these on our cabinet. So that's one, we got to have them. And then we got to know, you know, essentially what to do with them and then how to use them. So we'll, I'll cover all those tonight. So it'll be, it'll be a fun show. This is, this has been something I've been waiting to do for a long time. In fact, my wife's been telling me I have to do this one for forever now. Awesome. All right. I'm excited then. Let's, uh, let's get started. So welcome back everybody to another episode of the Health Made Simple show. Uh, just to start us off, I want to intro our host, Dr. Bart Precourt, who has been a healthcare provider for over 20 years, practicing a range of modalities, including chiropractic, acupuncture, kinesiology, nutrition, and supplementation and functional testing out of his clinic, Balance Health Studio in Seagrove Beach, Florida. He's also the founder of the Health Edge program, which is a virtual health program for entrepreneurs and executives wanting to take their health to the next level. So he works with celebrities and athletes all around the world. And tonight is going to share with us 
uh, his medicine cabinet, his natural medicine cabinet that he thinks every, you, you're saying everyone should have these things at home at all times. Yeah, absolutely. That's, and it, that's, it, that's my exact point tonight, that this is something that we should have at home on a regular basis for the family. Like when something goes wrong, you got a plan, you got a strategy. And if you have these tools and that's, it's like anything else, if you got the tools, like you go to the toolbox, you don't have a hammer, it's hard to bang in some nails. So this is the way I mapped this out. This is absolutely awesome. Um, this is the same thing my wife and I use, same thing we use in, you know, in our practice on a regular basis. Um, real quickly, Karen, you mentioned, you just kind of mentioned, um, you know, I have a concierge program and I do virtual. So for all my concierge program peeps, this is something that we, we have. I make sure that they have a home medicine cabinet, that this is something that and I teach them how to use it, which I'm teaching everyone here tonight. So this is, this is a super, super cool episode. Um, and then of course, do your thing, you know, share it out, spread the love, because this is a thing other people can do as well. If they want to know how to take care of their kids and fevers and flus and all that kind of stuff, we got to cover tonight. So again, if you guys have questions, and want to either discuss certain home remedies that you're using, cool, um, or you want to have any questions about what we're talking about, let me know. All right. So awesome. should we dive in? Let's dive in. What's the first one? What's the first thing we got to make sure everybody has in their home? Everyone down. And I got them in front of me, so I'm going to show them to you in a moment. But everyone oh, yeah. awesome. absolutely, absolutely positively has to have a product called Andrographis Complex. I'm going to show you the bottle just because I have them in front of me. Because I have them at home. So this is how easy. Nice. All right. So Andrographis Complex. I don't know if me showing you helps anyone, but I'm going to tell I'll, I'll explain everything about this. So Andrographis Complex, it's an herbal remedy. And always to remember when there's a difference between herbs and then there's vitamins and minerals. Herbs activate and they help push forward the activation and the function of different systems, organs, and glands in the human body. So they to some degree, it's almost like they stimulate, they activate. Vitamins and minerals feed. That's what our body needs. Now, when we can bring both together, that's usually the best of both worlds. But we often need both. And especially in times of like, you got yourself a fever, you got yourself a cold. So angiographics is made of three different herbs. And what's so great about this combination is that they're fast acting. So when you got something going on, you want something fast acting. So it's made up of a combination of echinacea, which you guys have heard me talk about echinacea before. It is the number one adaptogen herb in the world. That's it. That is the strongest, best adaptogen herb that there is. What is an adaptogen herb? An adaptogen herb is something that help, just helps us adapt to whatever environment our body's in. So it could be, you know, again, it could be fighting off a bacteria or a virus, but whatever it is, echinacea is one of our best. The other two herbs are holy basil, which is another fast acting, especially for upper respiratory. So that's what holy basil is fantastic for. So when we think about colds and flus and, you know, and bronchitis and all those things, this is fantastic for all of those. Then the, 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 the really the, the, the winner here is the angiographis herb. And the angiographis herb, again, it, it's something that can fight off infections. It can fight, help us fight off uh, colds, bacteria, viruses. It's, and again, its most powerful attribute is that it's fast acting. So when we get something at home, and I'll tell you, part of all of this, Karen, is recognizing and knowing what's going on with your body before yeah. things get really, really bad. Because that's when you can use this. So what kind of symptoms, like if people are at home, when do they use this? What kind of symptoms are they having where this would be a good fit for, for using? Okay. So angiographis in the next one, I'm going to talk about Conjuplex. They're the best fit for both of these. The very first sign of anything. Meaning okay. like we all have our little thing. You might have that like back of the throat thing, a little bit of a cough. Maybe you feel like your ears are getting a little blocked. You, you, something's going on. It could be allergies for that matter. But we all have that little thing that we know, uh-oh, you know, something's coming. Yeah. Moment you notice that, literally the moment you notice that, that's when you start taking this protocol. And I'll go into the dosing in that in just a moment. So the angiographis complex is andrographis herb, echinacea, and holy basil. And the, and the three of them really, far, really fast acting. You know, it's interesting, uh, Karen, um, is that the andrographis herb, you know, we've been using it as holistic practitioners in our clinics for literally decades. 
but right now it's probably getting as much um, fame as it ever has because as ever because there's been some massive studies on its effect against fighting COVID, which wow. is huge. I forget which country came out of. Uh, I'll misspeak if I say it, but I, it's like Japan or something like that, but it might not be Japan. Um, <laughs> but some, some really great uh, research has, has shown up about the effect of angiographis herb by itself, never mind combining it with these others. And like anything else, the, the thing about herbs is quality, quality, quality. So you got to make sure you guys know I use a company called Medi Herb. It's my favorite. They're they're kind of the brother sister company to standard process, but they're over in Australia and all they do, they only do herbs. That is their expertise. They are the finest company in the world. So they, they have some of the best. Oh, Australia. That's you. That's it is. It is. We got some of the best. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's awesome. So people also have to, uh, I like, um, one of the things we talked about in an earlier show was recognizing these signs that you were talking about, like whether it is a bit of a sore throat or, or it is your ears. So what if we get some further symptoms? As people kind of don't stop, recognize those things. Can we still use this? Yeah, hundred percent. The beauty of this herb is that these combination of herbs that you can use this at any stage in the game. You could, someone yeah. can come to my office and be like, I'm already half dead. I'm dying, you know, and you got everything going on and you still need to activate and the, the herbs have medicinal power. That's, you know, that's the key. These, these have been used for thousands of years, not, you know, for a couple of weeks here, this has been used for thousands of years, these remedies, and they really, really can support the body to really activate against, especially in an immune response. One of the things that's important, um, and I guess it's fitting for this conversation is that your body has a, a different series of responses when it comes to the immune system. So, First would be, it gives you a little bit of a symptom and you have a little bit of a histamine response and it's very manageable. Maybe a little bit of a runny nose, maybe the temperature comes up a little bit. Maybe you notice a little bit of fatigue or flushing or something subtle. That's your window. If you get through that window and you support the body with what it needs, and it could be rest, it could be water, it could be an herb, it could be a vitamin, and you support and you provide the tools that your body needs in that moment, then awesome. Your body says, thank you, high five. And most of the time, it'll still have the fight going on on the inside, but not overwhelm you with symptoms. Yeah. To your point of asking, like, how about if it gets a little farther? Sometimes if it gets a little farther, you still need that support, but you're not going to be able to with at this point, the body is going to go through really what they call a cytokine storm which is an increase of inflammatory tissue, infl inflammatory response. And you're going to go through the entire series, meaning you're going to make mucus. It's going to come out. It's going to get congested. And you've got to go through the entire elimination process. Now, if that's, if that's the case, you still need to support the body. It's just lying there. And listen, so, and I want this to ring a bell. And, and I know our tribe is solid and they have very, holistic approach towards things. But listen, if you take something like, say you got a sinus thing going on, you take it, you know, something that is, you know, uh, congest, you know, it inhibits, you know, your sinuses. It's an antihistamine. That's not an herb activating and it's not a vitamin or mineral that's feeding. So you're literally just kind of working against the immune system. And, and listen, I, I know none of us like symptoms, but you can only go there so many times really before the body really starts to fight back against you and you start to create more problems as a result of it. Yeah. And we see that. I mean, you, you do start to get, you know, I know for myself, if I do start to get a bit of a sore, sore throat, it tends to be my, like one that we're talking about, you know, if my body kind of needs to rest and, um, you know, even if I can just actually listen to it and take a break, it's usually when I'm, I've tried to fit too much into my week, I maybe haven't gotten enough sleep. You know, so if we're able to listen to our body, take some of these um, herbs, support it, we're able to kind of stop it right at that beginning stage. Yeah. So, and again, so this, 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 this applies whether it's bacterial, bacterial or viral, and that's the beauty of it. So with this herb, I'm going to circle back to this in just a moment because I really pair this one. Some of the others I don't pair. But this one particularly, I, I pair it with the next product. And I want, I want to dive into that in just a moment here. But the, the, the how we use this and the dosing. Yeah, the dosing, yeah, the dosing is very 
important. And I'll circle back so we can kind of, you guys will get a feel for all this, but the dosing on angiograph is complex. If you guys are writing things down at home and Karen, make sure. So what we've done, we've done for you guys tonight, we put a package together. So if you want the at home, home medicine cabinet, um, if you guys can put that in the link, whether you Karen or Whitney could do that, that'd be great. So you literally yeah. have it on literally, this just sits on your cabinet. You don't have to take these every day. These are things that you literally just have there. It's like your quite I actually call this like your your health insurance plan. Because that's that's really what it is. You're insuring your health that if something happens, you got you got you got backup. You got plan. Yeah. So um, the angiographis herb, one of the first things that I have you do is take two of them and hold it on your tongue. And I tell you, it's gonna have a kick. And we want that kick. We're gonna activate the white blood cells that are on your tongue. So it's almost like we're waking your body up to anything that's bacterial or viral that's in your mouth. And so you hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then you can just swallow them as usual. But you're going to take two of these up to four times a day. And you take this protocol until whatever sign or symptom that you have, that runny nose, the infections, remember this is infections, sinus infections, bacterial infections, whatever they may be, this is what you use it for. So we help your body, we support your body in such a way. And then you take it all the way till it's done, not kind of done, we're talking done. And then you bottle them back up, you put them back in your home medicine cabinet, your holistic okay. medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So Love it. And I just want to say, yeah, we did. We put the link, we put the link in Facebook. We put the link in the chat. So if you guys do, as we're going, you want to see you, you want to get all these things. Um, we put them all together for you in a bundle with 20% off. Yeah. That's even better. Nice. Yeah. Right. Just for listening to the show. <laughs> and this, by the way, Karen is the same, you know, there's a couple others that I kind of like throw in here, but this is the same group that you would like, if you go to travel, you're going to go to your home, your holistic medicine cabinet and look at it and go, uh, what did Dr. Bart say about this? Andrographis always goes on the road. Conjaplex always goes on the road. And there's one or two others as well. But it's an, it always goes with you because we know when we travel, our immune system's a little bit more challenged. So we're kind of combining two shows in one, a travel show and then the home holistic medicine cabinet. Because um, the travel okay. one, we have a couple other cool things as well. All right, so let's let's dive into the second one. And this is probably one of the most intelligent products that I've come across literally in all my years of practicing and it's called Conjaplex. The name means absolutely nothing. I don't even know where it comes from. Yeah, Conjaplex is not herbal. It is a vitamin and mineral product and it's primary, you got four primary vitamins and minerals in it. And I'll, I'll walk you through those because it's, it's almost, fun to understand how these got put together. So of course it has uh, the full complex or the enzymatic part portion of vitamin C, which you guys listen to this, you understand that ascorbic acid is not the, the kind of complex vitamin C we're talking about. We're talking the vitamin C that has the bioflavonoids, the vitamin P, vitamin J, the root and factor, all of those together. So literally the, the enzyme vitamin C, so it's an activated type of vitamin C. So it has vitamin C in it. It's got some vitamin A in it. It also has calcium lactate, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. And I'll, and I'll tell you why all these are there in just a moment. And the secret, secret weapon in this product is something called, it has a thymus PMG. It's a thymus extract. And for my audience, if you're wondering, what the heck is that? So you have- What is that? Yes, yes. There's a gland that you have right here in about the center of your chest called your thymus gland right here. And we don't talk about it enough. We should have been talking about this like, like bonkers, this- this past year because your thymus gland is where you make your white blood cells, predominantly make your white blood cells. This big, massive part of your immune system. They say, as you get older, it, you know, it goes away. It's because we don't activate enough. We don't feed it enough. So your thymus gland activates white blood cells. So in this product, you have thymus extract that immediately activates your white blood cells. But once your white blood cells are activated, they need to have weapons. And those weapons need to, like literally you need to have guns that have ammunition in them. So Conjaplex is thymus, which activates it. And then the guns are loaded with vitamin C and calcium lactate, lactate, and then a little bit of vitamin A because that's an immune builder as well. 
And then there's another massively strategic one that I've never seen any other company or any other product use this. They have a little bit of what's called ribonucleic acid. And I'm like, what is that? It's RNA. You hear a little bit about mRNA right now, but RNA is very specific. That vitamin, that nutrient is some, you can get that like in um, sardines and stuff like that. Uh, RNA activates part of your brain. So it wakes your brain up. So we have something that wakes up your white blood cells. It activates your brain, the part that goes and defends itself. And then you have two guns that are loaded. So this is an intelligent, intelligent product. And again, fast acting, super, super fast acting. Okay, awesome. And when are we using this? Similar time, we, are we always combining it with the Angioplex or are we, we're, um, mm -hmm. yeah, is it, we're using it separate times? Ideal world, we use this simultaneously. We use the angiographis and the angiographis. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Now, because what I just mentioned there with the Conjaplex, it has so many things in it, we need to high dose. So listen, I know everyone's listening. I'm going to tell you the dosing in a minute. Some people are going to go, oh my God, I can't take that many. Or that's so many. Listen, we're talking about all the different mechanisms that your immune system needs to defend itself. The silliness that we have in our country now is to think that we can do one thing and we're going to be better. And I know that people listening to this know that health is much more than just taking like one big pill or one shot or something like that that makes us better because it does, just doesn't work that way. So with, with Conjaplex, it's a heavy and hard, heavy and hard dose, I meaning you just keep hammering it. So it's four, four times a day. If you're a smaller person, meaning under 150 pounds, four, three times a day. There's absolutely no side effect from taking more. The only side effect would be you get better faster. So the dosing on this is, is heavy. We want to supply enough calcium, and I'll go into the explanation of that in just a moment. The full complex vitamin C, a little bit of vitamin A for the immune system, and then make sure that the, the thymus is stimulating, that thymus extract is stimulating the white blood cells. And then, of course, we got to wake the brain up, and that's the ribonucleic acid. So a brilliant, brilliant product. So these two, Karen, we want to use these two together. They literally go, let me grab them here. Like where one goes, the other goes. The other one goes here, the other one goes with it. It's like everywhere they go together. So this is probably the number one protocol I have when someone calls me and says, I have fill in the blank. I have a sty in my eye. I have a head cold. I have a sinus infection. I have an earache. I have a throat infection. I have bronchitis. Anything that's an infection, anything that's viral, that's the protocol we start with. Even a, a toothache. We were talking about toothache earlier, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because what are we concerned about with the to a toothache? Our concern infection? is that it becomes infected. Yes, it becomes ah. an infection. Yes. So if, what about if you have an infection or something on your skin or you've like heard it and something's gotten infected, those kind of things too? 100%. Listen, if you have a skin infection, so I'm getting a little deeper here, that if you have a skin infection, that part of your body has become deficient in calcium and in vitamin C in the tissue. That's what really was protecting that tissue, especially that calcium. So if you have an infection there, yes, you don't have it. So bringing it into the body is important. Is it going to necessarily like heal that specifically? Not necessarily. What it's going to do is make us, our immune system stronger so we can handle whatever is going on. So remember 2021 is about increasing our capacity, right? Like we, last year we got punched in the face. We didn't see it coming. Now we see it's coming. So we're going to have a massive holistic health cabinet sitting at home, holistic medicine cabinet sitting at home. So no matter what comes our way, we're prepared. And what about kids? Can, can children take these supplements? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the truth is, it's tough to get kids to take herbs because herbs <laughs> odor, they smell, and they taste funky. Yeah. Fortunately, they can use Conjaplex, and there's a chewable version. Here's how I know it's safe because they, they're kind of yummy. I've had um, a mom come in and say, oh, I think I'm in real trouble. Do I need, I, my kid just ate an entire bottle of Conjaplex. I said, no, they're perfectly fine. That good? They just ate it? Flintstones. They have like a little grape flavor to them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, what did you say? This will be fine. This will be some expensive poop. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. 
So, and, and I meant that in all seriousness, because that's a lot of vitamin C and a lot of calcium and that helps elimination. So, you know, it, that's the beauty because remember when we have bacteria or virus in our body, we also really want to have good elimination simultaneously. So we're, yeah. we're again, we're, we're really thinking about the big picture here. And again, I'm going to talk about one of my, the other secret, one of the other secret weapons in just a moment. But when we really think about getting the human body healthy, we always have to be thinking about detox. How do we get things out? How do we drain the body? Because whatever's in it, you know, we right now, for example, we're seeing a lot of people have um, post COVID symptoms. Yeah. Yes. And folks, I'm gonna tell everyone, listen, you got to get cleaner. They need to go on a cleanse. They need, to, they'll need to take one of the products I'm going to talk about. It's, it's two more down here. Um, they need to clean the body out. They need to get some milk thistle. They got to open up the pathway of the liver. That's what's going on. It's a battlefield. So imagine this for a moment that uh, you have, you know, two kingdoms and again, I fight and they send all their, you know, their soldiers out into the battlefield and they get into a big old fight and that's your white blood cells. And that's the bacteria, that's your white blood cells and the virus. And they go out and they kick each other's butts and then they're all dead. All right, because they've exhausted each other. And the battlefield is a mess. That's your body after COVID. Yeah. This is what creates the inflammation. This is what creates the lot, you know, the hair falling out. This is what creates the anxiousness. There's listen, there's so many symptoms that happen when we're toxic. So the number one thing is that we got to get the toxins out and restore all the deficiencies that our body has at that point. And sometimes that's real simple. That's like getting a lot of B vitamins back, et cetera. But those, all of those, getting it back, cleaning out the battlefield. And when the battlefield cleans out, the body will be better. And if people have, if people are dealing with some of these things and, and want uh, like need a specific protocol or want to have a chat with you about it, you do virtual consultations all around the country for anyone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it'd be really easy. So I guess we could just put up a link. Um, they can just call us and then we do just what we're doing here and we can do like a virtual uh, Zoom. And, and it's, you know, that's become more and more popular. And I think, you know, in 2021 and 2022, that's going to be kind of the name of the game for a lot of the way that healthcare is practiced. Um, you know, I, in my office, I still put my hands on people and I still enjoy and love that yet. This is a big part of it. Um, you know, our demand is going up and up. And I think I mentioned a while ago that this, you know, if you find a doctor or you find, you know, uh, a group that is doing, you know, and they're going to, I see Karen down the road that the practitioners that are going to be virtual are going to be at some degree limited in meaning on how many people they can kind of let into their tribe. So if you, um, if you're not in a tribe, get in one. If you guys are here, you're obviously in our tribe, but you're going to want to be familiar with how to do that because that is going to be the wave of the future, whether you're doing a holistic way or not, that is going to be the, the kind of the new norm. 100%. Uh, so just before we move on to the third one, a couple of questions on the stuff we've just been talking about. Um, what about shingles? Yeah, so let's talk about shingles. So shingles, right, it's viral. Okay. okay, so that lies mostly, it lies dormant in the spine and it comes out when we're stressed. Okay. One of the, yeah, so one of the things that happens under stress, you, our adrenal glands get all revved up and we dump all of our vitamin C. So I know I'm going a little off here, but this, this is exactly how it happens. So when under stress, your vitamin C, your, I'm sorry, your adrenal glands are activated to go into fight or flight is essentially what they do. When they're activated, you use up a lot of your storage of vitamin C, about 50 to 70% of all the vitamin C in the body is stored in your adrenal glands. When you get deficient in that and you're going and going and going, and at that same time, that virus is coming out, the first thing to try to defend the skin is calcium, okay? If you run out of the calcium and your body becomes calcium deficient in the tissue, different than it's, it's in the bone and then there's in the tissue. If it becomes deficient in the tissue, the body cannot defend itself and that virus will make it out from the actual spinal cord out to the tissue and it'll have a pattern. Some people will get shingles on their forehead. It's most common like back here along the front, you know, like back here along like your scapula, but a very specific pattern. And in that scenario, you are calcium deficient you are vitamin C deficient and your immune system is losing. 
So when we talk about that Contraplex being brilliant, and this is why that dosing has to be high. And I'm going to keep saying that because I have people that have gone to the extremes, or not the extremes, but they've gone and bought these things and they'll look on it. I've never even looked what it says in the bottle. It says take three. I won't do it. Okay. Yeah. You so, got to up it. You got to up that dose. Because you're really trying to, by the time you have symptoms, you're already down a notch. You're getting yeah. beat up. Like you're getting, you're getting punched in the head already and it's time for you to fight back. Okay. Yeah. So you've already taken a bunch of blows. So something like shingles, you have a virus that is, that is booting on your body, right? But now you also have this immune system. So something like angiographis and chondroplex together, awesome. For that person that asked this, I'm gonna give you a bonus here. If you called me today and said, you say you're part of my tribe and said, you know, doc, what do I do? I'd give you angiographis, chondroplex, and then my next superstar, and this is gonna be the weirdo one, this guy right here. Calcium lactate powder. Yes. Yeah. It is so simple, so effective. This is just a little heads up, and I'll go back to this in just a moment. This is not applied to all calciums. Folks, just real quickly, if you got calcium in your, in your, in your vitamin cabinet right now, it says calcium carbonate, just toss it. It's so hard for your body to break down. It's not worth taking. You just got to get a different source. Anyways, so let me go, let me go to that, that one. So the calcium lactate powder, let me, let me go to this guy now, and this will help with the answer to the shingles because in Shingles, the body's no longer, the skin has become deficient in the calcium and it can't defend itself. One of the very first things that your body's immune system uses on the outside of the cell, all over the body to fight, like bad guy, fight them. You know, they're, they're trying to do this all, all the time is calcium. Okay. So, and we forget about this. Again, this yeah. is the sickness of like COVID, but we're not talking about some of the absolute fundamentals of the way that the immune system really works. So calcium is the most abundant mineral in the human body, by far greater than anything else. And there's a reason, because it's there to protect us. We mostly think of calcium as just like something like older people take for their bones, but it's way, way, way more than that. Literally, this is something um, that I use on a regular basis. In fact, if my wife is listening, I'm going to have her bring up a... Um, we have something that I usually mix this with, and I'll show you in just a moment. It's, um, it's something called hydrate. So I don't know if wife is listening, bring up hydrate. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see you guys, we'll see if, if we um, end up with it. This is product um, number three. Um, okay. And, this needs and when do we use that? Are we mixing these three supplements or this is a separate time? Okay. So in a scenario like, so this can be by itself, can be used. You can use this standalone. My favorite, favorite, favorite reasons, and all mommies hear me out here. If you have a child at home, you need calcium lactate powder on your shelf. This is the number one defense against fevers. That's it. Okay. That is, that is, this is the number one thing. And the beauty of this, apparently we fuse home. <laughs> Yay. Playing this okay. in Thank you. Um, the, the, beauty of, the beauty of the calcium lactate is that it allow your body to defend itself without shutting down the immune response. I think everyone understands that there's a reason for a fever. The, the reason that the human body heats up is to kill. It kills off bacteria, it kills off viruses. That's its job. That's, that's why it's using the temperature. Now, I recognize they're not comfortable. If you've had a fever, you know, I had a fever a couple months ago, it's awful we often have what's called the flash fevers. You'll have a fever for 15 and 20 minutes at a time. And this is for a lot of us that are healthy. It does not mean you're not healthy. It means your body's going to work. Yeah. Now, in the event that you run low on or don't have enough calcium, that's when the fever starts to create pain in the body. If you're deficient in the tissues, that's when the body gets so sore because there's not enough calcium in the actual tissues. And if your body's been fighting for a couple of days and then a fever spikes, that's troublesome. You know, and again, when, whenever we talk about fevers, I always like to remind people that um, there always comes a point where someone's like, well, you can't, you can't let it get too high. Yeah. My question is, how high is it? Because yeah. I tested that theory before. Um, I don't recommend people to do this, but I tested it. I, I heard, but I never found it in all my studies I heard that you can't get let a fever get above 105, and then like 
your brain fry and stuff like that. Well, I tested that. Um, there, was, there was a time- On where, yourself, right? Not on, not on that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, um, I never found any research. I still, you can go to uh, um, pubmed.org and that's where all the, you know, there's you know literally a million research papers. You can go there and find out does, does any brain damage happens at 105? And no, the answer is no to that. Um, the body knows how to protect itself. So yeah. fevers are a critical, important, time-tested, you know, natural, you know, tool that your immune system uses. Now we want to support it. So the fever will often keep going higher and higher if you don't have enough calcium in the body to defend itself. That's the simple answer. Okay. So if, so how does a child have not have enough calcium? They're sucking on orange juice all day. They're eating cookies and candy and they're depleting. They're using sugar and they're outside. Maybe you get a sunburn. All of these things deplete your calcium levels. And when this happens, we're very, very vulnerable to get a fever. Fever spike, your fever goes up, you know, fighting bacteria, fighting a virus. The body keeps going up and up. You run out of the actual calcium in the tissue. That's when we're super, super uncomfortable. That's when literally you can have like joint pain and spinal pain. That's kind of stuff. Calcium lactate. And all we do, Karen, it's this simple. You take like a heaping teaspoon, pour it in water. Like this would be too much water, but you, you, this would work. I usually do about 16 or 20 ounces. I use this. Do you remember? I don't know, man. It probably. Do you remember our friend Chris that came on? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, yeah. This product, guys. If you, I don't know what episode that was, but this is an all organic um, electrolyte. So if you have a fever, remember you're getting instantly depleted in vitamins and minerals. So I use that calcium lactate in that hydrate right there. And it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Like it's yummy, yummy, yummy. And you just sip on it through the course of the day. And, and you can do more if you want. And then and that's the beauty for the children too. You can put it right in their bottle. They can suck it back. It's easy. You can mix it up with the calcium lactate. So you can put it in. I don't care what you put in. You just got to get the calcium back into the body. Okay. Uh, somebody's asked here, is bone meal the same thing? If they're referring to, there is a product, um, bone meal. Bone meal is not, no, it's not the same thing. Bone meal will have different types of calcium. This is calcium lactate. And the reason I use calcium lactate other than, there's other good calciums out there, don't get me wrong. But for what I'm talking about now, this is a good source of calcium for bone, no doubt but it's bioavailability to be absorbed into the tissues. That's what makes this so unique. Bone meal won't do that. Calcium carbonate, forget about it. Um, so we want even calcium citrate is a good product, but not in this, in, not in this. Not, the fevers, not in your medicine cabinet. It, it's, it would work, but we're, we're, again, we're talking about your holistic home medicine cabinet that we want to work fast. We want to support a baby that has a fever and that is literally miserable, pain, you know, having pain. This will create comfort for the body, but still letting the immune system do its job. What about coral calcium? That's another one we've got Roxanne asking here. Is that uh, some fine no, not source, but not the bioavailability? This, the calcium lactate here, it's essentially water, water soluble. So it's going to be very, very easy to absorb into the body. Okay. Um, all right. I know we've got a couple more to go through, but do you want to take a couple more questions first? Yeah, let's take some questions. Yep. Okay. Um, what about children with eczema? Yeah. So when you think about children with eczema, again, anything skin, anything skin, getting your child more calcium um, absorbable out into the tissue and also anything like uh, the full vitamin C is going to benefit them. That means the tissue itself. So don't, don't, let's not think about the cause of eczema for a moment, but the tissue itself is beat up yeah. and it's now deficient and therefore it's breaking down. So will these fix eczema? Not necessarily fix eczema or the cause or the root cause of it. Remember, we're going to go back to the gut and liver for that. Yet for the, this, is it going to help the tissue heal? Is it going to help it from not scarring as much? And those same things that come over and over. The reason that people have patterns with psoriasis and eczema and stuff, 
once that tissue gets damaged, Karen, right? So anyone that's ever had this, just hear me out. You'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Say it's on the elbow. You, you have a, a moment where you have a flare up and you don't really do anything to restore or repair the tissue that's been damaged. You might've taken a steroid or whatever, you know, right or wrong to downregulate the inflammatory process, but you never did anything to actually heal the tissue. So now that tissue area is always compromised. So by restoring these, you know, on a regular basis, that's that person, you know, of course, I'd want them to take like cataplex C and get a little, cal you know, calcium into their body. But in the moment they're having flare ups, using something like Conjaplex is certainly going to benefit them. It's not going to fix the eczema, but it's going to support the tissue in that scenario. Okay, awesome. Um, any of these help our thyroid? The next one does. All right. <laughs> The, ne the next one does. Well, all right. Do we want to, uh, well, why don't we go on to the next one and then we'll do another couple of questions after that. Let me, I'm going to go back to thyroid too. So just, just so you know, when you say fixed thyroid, that's like a wide open category, but I'll tell you a lot of viruses love to make their home in the, in the, in the thyroid. Okay. So by understanding and going after our viruses and I keep promising, but we are going to do a show on Epstein-Barr. Um, yeah. Okay. And we'll talk about how Eb the Epstein-Barr virus loves to find a home in your thyroid. And you can chase your thyroid up and down and through the woods, but we got to go after the virus. So anytime, whether it be using Antrographis or Conjaplex, anything that we can kind of keep those viruses at bay, always, always a better play for the body. Okay, got it. Um, what about calcium lactate powder to help psoriasis? So very similar to the, the, to the answer eczema. I just gave about like the eczema, the tissue is what we're trying to do. It wouldn't be my first like thing to say, well, if, when I think of psoriasis and when I think of psoriasis, I think gut health, liver health, that's really where we go first. Um, and those got to get cleaned up. So listen, you can absorb nutrients. So again, the goal is always eat, right? Eat, eat the food, eat the vitamins, eat the nutrients. So then your body can naturally supply those tissues with what they need. So with psoriasis in a flare up, yes, it would benefit you to have those, even the Conjaplex, because we're going to supply the beauty of Conjaplex. It has calcium lactate in it. Okay. But when we get those fevers, when we have those moments, the, you know, those situations, you add a little bit. So you can also take the calcium lactate and again, you, let's just say you just kind of notice something's going on. You, you like... I don't know if everyone knows what I'm talking about when you say you kind of get like flash fevers. You'd be like, man, I had like a, hmm, a moment. And you could tell like it was your body's immune system, but it didn't last and you didn't get sick. That's when I'll carry my bottle around with my hydrate. I mix it up. It's like I'm drinking lemonade. And it's almost a reminder that I'm most likely deficient in micronutrients or in trace minerals. And that's really what that drink is. And I bring the calcium in there and it's just so, it's so restorative. Now, I will a little asterisk next to the calcium. Calcium will work as a diet. Well, it, it's going to make you poop. Yeah. That's what it's okay. going to be. Yeah. So. Hey, if it's making you feel better as well, I think we can all deal with that. It's perfectly fine. So again, when we're not well, whatever's in our body, we want out. Yeah. It's in a very, very important part to understand this. So in the event we take like excess amounts of vitamin C or we take excess amounts of calcium lactate and it helps things flush through, like that's good. That's not a bad thing. Let's get it out of the body. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, we've got another question here. Uh, suppose somebody has had, so, okay, okay, suppose one has had the vaccine, say for COVID, does that, or shingles, does that mean that one is protected? Oh, yeah. Um, all right. So two different things there. Um, the shingles vaccine is a, by and large, it is a vaccine. And it, the COVID vaccine, by and large, by what we've always known by definition, is not a vaccine because it does not bring on something like, so it doesn't bring in the COVID virus and give it to your body. So there's two entirely different mechanisms by the way that your body works if you had a shingles vaccine and if you had a COVID vaccine. Um, the shingles vaccine took a long time to come to the market, I believe almost 20 years 
I could be wrong there, but um, I think it took a really long time to, to do it. And um, I don't know much more other than that, but that does not necessarily make your body stronger. It reduces the impact when you get, when you uh, like that virus wants to express itself because we really don't get rid of viruses. They lie mostly dormant in our body, which is okay. Listen, there are literally thousands of viruses in our bodies right now. It is okay. And our immune system works hand in hand with them to make sure that, that you know everything's working good. We want to be the ones in charge though. Not like us, but like our innate immune system. And if the innate immune system's in charge, it can use and utilize these different viruses. The vaccines do not make us healthier. So if that is the question, no, especially with the COVID, there's so much, so much unknown right now. So, so much unknown. We know that it doesn't like right now, we, we, there's no evidence that it actually produces antibodies, none. So it, it's, and this is, this is an important thing everyone keeps to understand your, your shingles vaccine is different. It does. It does give you some antibodies to the, the actual shingles and it down regulates it. So um, I get it. And that's been around for really, the vaccine took a long time to come to market. We're looking at an entirely different beast when it comes to COVID-19. Um, they've not been tested on animals. So without going into all of that, it's just two different things here. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, last question. We're going to change course a little bit. What, um, since we're talking about a medicine cabinet, somebody's asked here, what about crazy glue? Can we add that into the medicine cabinet? Does it really work on superficial cuts? Crazy glue for cuts. Okay. Um, well, I'd be lying if I said it didn't work. It does not mean it's going to be in your holistic medicine cabinet. No, <laughs> like that's, that is awesome when you like are stuck on an island and some reason you have crazy glue and you don't have a doctor's office. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. yeah. Like, so Karen, I think that probably comes from like, it's real. Like people have been wounded in battle and stuff like that. Can you heal a cut? Can you see you know, like heal up a cut with crazy glue? You can, because you can glue the skin together. I do not recommend it. No, well, I tell <laughs> you right, what, well, let's move on to the fourth one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's move on to the fourth one. This is not on the list, but I, I do want to show you something that if you have a cut or a wound, okay. this has, this is not on our list. So this is going to throw people off here. This is chlorophyll. Okay chlorophyll complex i'm going to show you guys it literally is green. cream right oh it is green as it gets but it's you... a so it's a green okay wow so if i was to go like this it is as green as it gets okay okay you get a cut if you get a wound if you get a dog bite i don't know what i'm gonna do with this now um because it's really green uh <laughs> That's the only problem with chlorophyll. So if you get a cut, it's literally grass. Like that's what, like when you get a grass stain, you had jeans on, you slid in the yeah, grass. Yeah. That's chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is essentially plant's blood. You can instantly downregulate pain of an open wound, change the pH of a wound and start it healing. So for a lot of my peeps who have surgeries, as soon as the stitches are out and the cut is still there or anything, they, they burn themselves. There's This should be in the home medicine cabinet. I literally, I know I forgot it on the list. You burn yourself at home, nothing better than this. You put chlorophyll on. Only challenge with it, it's messy. It, anything, anything that's a wound, this is what you use. It's the absolute best stuff. So, the, you know, if the dogs, something happens when they get cut, I pack it with chlorophyll. And the beauty is that it'll take away about 50% of the pain on the spot. Wow. A lot of the reason that the tissue, the reason it hurts so much to be cut is that the skin instantly starts to oxidize and it rots, essentially what it is. And that pH change is very painful. So it's like dead tissue. And that's what hurts so much. The chlorophyll brings some oxygen into the area. You literally start to heal more. You scar less. Pretty cool. I use it a lot in my office for people that have elective surgeries. Okay. And they, or let's just say that someone has, you know, they have to take off a cancer spot or something like that. Always put chlorophyll on it. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Um, all right. So that's a good one. That's a bonus one. Yes. Let's go back to our, our five. What's our number four? Number four is something called Antronex. Okay. Again, most likely no one's ever heard of this. This is a beef liver extract. 
came out of Japan in the 1920s. And this was um, it's from something called the Yakatron. And Yakatron is literally a beef liver extract. And what it does, the fact that it comes from liver, it ultimately works as an antihistamine. And this is huge. So think about that. This is anything and everything allergic response. Hives, allergies, you wake up stuffy. This is my classic and this is where it works so amazing. So I said, man, doc, I think I have allergies, seasonal allergies. I'll say, oh, do you, you know, do you have the allergies all day in the lawn? Do you, and they say, no, do you wake up with a stuffy nose? Do you wake up with that congestion? The answer is yes. They say, yes, I do. Take four of these Antronex, give it about an hour and it'll drain. It okay. is a drainage product. In, in my line of work in, you know, functional nutrition, functional healthcare, one of the things that makes what we do so unique and so effective is we're always thinking about drainage. We're always detox is another way of thinking it. How do you get the crap out of the body? <laughs> this is one of the absolute number one. So anything that's going on, allergies, hives for that matter. Locally, we have during the summer, we have these, uh, we call them yellow flies and they okay. bite people. And some people blow up and have these massive reactions to them. What do I do? I give them Antronex. I load them up on Conjaplex and I might even give them calcium lactate because we want to get that doll heal up really fast. So same with bee stings, things like that? Bee stings, Antronex. Now, if you are, you know, like EpiPen allergic to them, have your right. Epi Always say, you know, obviously we're trying to save our lives, but for all of these other, met, you know, things, Antronex is my absolute favorite. Okay. Okay. So that one is stings, allergies, reactions to things um more so than the flus the cold the sore throat yeah exactly yeah well said so this is exactly so think think stuffiness think think histamine reaction that's what this is best for so we think of taking an antihistamine which again is just going to shut down the production create more liver congestion that's really what it does so remember most of the histamine that so let's just say that Here's a good example. You get exposed to pollen or boom or dust for that matter. Anything environmental comes in. Everything goes in, goes down into the, you know, it gets processed down into the liver. The liver goes, whoa, I can't handle all this right now. So your body then, one of the defense mechanisms is to release histamine into the body. Gobble up those bad guys, kind of attach them and then store them in your sinuses. The challenge is they get stored there and we don't like it. You know, that's, and they become, they can become a sinus infection. We get clogged up and we just, it's uncomfortable that this is what we use to have an antihistamine effect. And I say that that way because we don't, even though we don't want a lot of histamine because it does downregulate, it does make us toxic, downregulates the body afterwards, but it's still part of our immune system. It's still an important part of the innate immune system. So think of this one as, the anti the antihistamine effect and that's allergy hives you know, all that kind of stuff and the dose was four was it four, take just take four or how do so, we use it yeah so ideally if four in the morning or four right before you go to bed okay and and then like that's it or keep going if you've still got the like if the bee sting's still up like how long do you keep taking them off yes so you can keep taking this one again we can high dose this one I'll throw just a little bit out there. So this is, and like you guys are all like health warriors. So you'll, you'll get this. Um, and sometimes we got to continue to like level up our, our knowledge here. If I give someone Antronex and it doesn't help them drain, I don't care what's going on. Like, I don't care how bad it is, but if it doesn't help them drain some, it means that their stomach acid is, it's too weak. They don't have a balanced pH in their gut. Okay. Okay, because like many other things to be activated in the body, you need a very strong acid in your stomach. So when someone's on like an antacid, antacid people are much more prone to having sinus issues, much more prone to getting things like bronchitis, sinus infections, because you don't have that strong acid in your gut. So if someone's not responding to Antronex, uh, I might have to give them a digestive enzyme to take alongside it. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that was number four. What do we, we've got a fifth one, right? 
Yeah, but let me go back. We do have a fifth one. Someone earlier asked about thyroid. Yeah. So this is not, again, this is not, I wouldn't really consider this like my thyroid protocol and I don't really put it in my thyroid protocols, but this on the medicine cabinet, Antronex cleans blood. That's what it does. It cleans your blood. Okay. What does thyroid really, really do? Your thyroid cleans blood. That's what it's doing. So all the blood circulates through the body, you know, through the thyroid gland repetitively. And part of what the thyroid gland is doing with the thyroid hormones is cleaning things out. So most of our organs and our glands, they're, they're detoxifying tools for the body. So when we support cleaning of the blood, we're essentially helping the thyroid. And that's why getting clean in order to balance hormones is essential. It's not optional. You know, like when we do our, like we just get off our uh, cleanse and so many people, you know, they feel better. The thyroid's working better. We're seeing these lab tests come in, Karen. It's absolutely amazing um, to see all this happen. So if you have a thyroid issue and you haven't focused on detoxification yet or drainage yet, that's your next step. Okay. Awesome. All right. Next one then. Should we go on to the next one you want to share with us for our medicine cabinet? Uh, maybe last but not least, no doubt. So this is real simple. This is an herbal. Can you guys see that? An yeah. Herbal throat. This one's good. Yeah. Tell us about this. I don't know. I guess it's someone who who is sore throat is my first that first sign for me. Tell me about this throat spray. Absolutely important. So listen, sore throats are no joke. Sore throats tell us the throat is a window to the rest of the body. So we want to always make sure that our throat is very well lubricated, it's hydrated, and we don't get a sore throat because this is where most, well, there's so many white blood cells that are available for us on our tongue, in our mouth, in our mucus glands, they're there to fight. And if you get a sore throat and you get a dry throat, you're, you're making the rest of the body very, very vulnerable. So the herbal throat spray is just that. It's an herbal throat spray. One of my favorite things in it, it has marshmallow, marshmallow root in it, which is one of the absolute best. There's marshmallow root, sage, calendula. And I'll come up with the others in just a moment here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole group of them. It's one of those ones where I'm not even going to say it tastes good, but it doesn't taste bad. Okay. And you can use this. So I typically will use this anytime before, like we start a Zoom. I uh, go on stage or anytime. Oh yeah. Because you know, the number one way to dehydrate is talking. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you're a teacher, if you're someone that, you know, talks a lot, you know, having some kind of lubricant. And again, this should be the year that we all should know this stuff. Like one of the strategies for COVID is having a well lubricated throat. Okay. Talked about this way back in March. Because if you could catch the virus in the throat, so all oh, the beauty here, this, it has myrrh in it. And myrrh is like, you know, a master butt kicker. That's one of the other herbs in there. So there's herb, there's uh, the marshmallow root, the sage, calendula, myrrh. There's, and there's one or two others. So I'll, I'll try to come up with them. So this is an incredible way to help the mucosal lining of the throat. So you protect the rest of the body. But if this gets too dry, if it gets coarse or it gets a little painful, the pain happens when it gets too dry and we start to rub tissue against each other. If that mucosal line is thinned out, you're now vulnerable for upper respiratory issues, et cetera. So, and then if you have an upper respiratory issue, what do we use, Karen? Uh, the second one. Oh, first one. There we go, guys. We need to have a re recap. We'll, uh, we'll make sure we have all this in the notes for you. Andrographics complex for the upper respiratory. Yes, yes. There we go. This this throat, you know, this herbal throat spray is something you use any time of the day. And again, I want to go back to and just kind of remind everyone that the value, the power here is to one have your tools. Like, like listen, this is the most important house that you got. Got to invest some little bit. Have the tools. Then, what to use and how to use them. So how much of the herbal throat spray can you use? As much as you possibly want. Yeah. And preventative too, right? Like we use it. I mean, you can use it if you get a sore throat or if you know you're in one of those situations where you are going to talk a lot, go on stage, things like that. Yes. So, okay. yeah. So uh, to, to give you an idea, there's always one here because I do a lot of virtual. There's always one in my office. Okay. Because the moment your throat is compromised, 
now your your first line of defense is compromised. And this yeah. is because that's, you know, that's, but that's us listening to a body. That's us really being like, you know, like leveling up and really starting to listen and learn about our bodies. And I tell you with these tools right here, if you have these at home and you really start to tune in and you recognize how to use them and leave, even, even if you just start taking them all when you didn't feel good, you would be building it strong. And that's not how I use them, but you're definitely building a stronger system. Yeah, and look what we'll do, guys. Since some of you might uh, be the same as me and might not remember which one was for which, if you take advantage of our package, um, so you get them in a group, you get 20% off, we ship them out to you. Um, we can put the link in again and we'll send the link out by email. Uh, what I'll do is I'll send an email when you purchase that with a little dosing sheet so that you can print it out, have it in your medicine cabinet as well so that you can know how to take it and then you can always go back and refer to that. Yeah, that, that'd be awesome because the dosing on this, all of these, so the angiographis, it's two of them, you know, three or four times a day. So we want to use them throughout the course of the day. And yes, your body fights through the course of the day. So you want to make sure that you are defending, right? Blocking and then also fighting back through the course of the day. So that's why we don't just take them all at one time. That's not how our health works, right? So it's not just like one pill, one shot and we're done. It really doesn't work that way. So we want to defend through the course of the day, the conjuplex, super high dose, 12, 14, 16 a day. I've taken over 20 in a day, no big deal. And I've told you I had a little kid eat an entire bottle in one day. I'm not saying to do that, but it's safe. That's the beauty of it. It's safe. Yeah. Case scenario, you eliminate more. The calcium lactate, that's the big old powdered one. Literally, you take a powder of that, not to confuse it with other calciums. And I hope everyone hears me clearly in that. Other calciums, will not have that effect and they might even bind up more than we want to. But the calcium lactate is very bioavailable. It'll get out into the tissues. And once it's into the tissues, that can help everything from, you know, literally uh, help skin conditions. But my number one favorite thing is fever for this, fever, fever, fever. The Antronex drainage. As you continue to level up your knowledge about the human body and you're continuously thinking about how do I get healthier? As much as you're thinking about what do I put in my mouth Start thinking about what do I get out of my body and how readily and easily can I get things out? And that's probably the massive difference, maybe the biggest difference between the men and women like myself who are practicing functional nutrition and functional health care. We're thinking, how do we get this stuff out? Because that's the only reason we got sick. Something entered. So how do we get it out? So that's a big one there. And then, of course, this herbal throat spray. Very, you know, and that's something that we can use preventative, like I do, you know, when I go to my office or, you know, just be, a moment ago, I took a couple of, squ you know, squirts of it. So um, that's it. That's your home medicine cabinet. And this is learning how to use it, using it on a regular basis. It's, it's fantastic. But I think in our house, we like, if we, if we don't have Conjaplex in the house, we're like, uh oh, there's no Conjaplex in the house. Go get some Conjaplex. Yeah. And the reason I love this so much is, you know, we keep talking about the fact that we really do need to be prepared this year. We need to be taking charge of our own health. We need to be doing things to support our body to be as healthy as possible. And so these are some amazing tools that you've just shared with us that we can have to do all those things, to keep leveling up and keep making sure we're supporting our, our body, especially when there are viruses or, or different things that are compromising it. Yeah, absolutely. So I hope everyone yeah enjoy then keep doing things keep you know like keep sharing this one out keep spreading you know keep spreading the love in this scenario because it's such an easy easy thing to do as long again as we have the the tools to make sure we can get it done so what about our last question what is going to be our one action that people can take from this show to move them towards their goal of becoming superhuman okay well again didn't even think about it but i know right away it's going to be <laughs> prepare to win yeah prepare to win no we don't have to be in defense the whole time let's let's go full steam ahead whatever however it's going to take let's prepare to win let's make this the best year of our lives there's so many great opportunities ahead of us especially with the year when we don't lose the battle like yeah we got beat up a little bit when we don't lose the battle then that's when we get to stand up and charge for it so that's it right there let's let's prepare to win I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We'll be back next week at the same time for another episode of the Health Made Simple Show. And as usual, guys, thanks, everyone, for being here, people on Facebook, people on Zoom. And of course, we can take deliberate action for our mind, for our body, for your overall wellness. Y'all be awesome.